It's your boy Benny Ben. Benny Ben. Benny Ben. It's the culture show. It's the culture show. Culture show. Today I got Drip Street designer himself, Nazi Clothing. What's up, peoples? It's your boy Benny Benz. That's right, the host for the Culture Show. And yeah, man, I'm here with Nazi Clothing. You dig? Hey, fly stuff going on right here. What's up, peoples? What's up, my dude? How are you? Yeah, man. Hey, man. Dude, you need to come check them out, man. The boy got some fly gear here for the women and the men. As you see, you see the mannequins. You see the mannequins, man. They got some dope stuff right here. I'm going to give y'all a preview of that. You know what I'm saying? But yo, Tell me something, how did you get off into the clothing? Bro, I really, for real. As a kid, bro, coming up, mm -hmm. see, moms ain't had that. You know what I'm saying? Right. My moms ain't had that. I can't remember a time I was, I had to cut a pair of overalls up and rock the bottoms on, on some jeans. And you know, her jeans, the women's jeans weren't as thick as the dude's right, jeans. Right, so. right, right. That shit was paper thin and I was rocking, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, when I can, when, when I was able to grab some bread, you know, shit, bro, I just, shit, started getting flat. Started getting flat. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, so you worked the sewing machine and all that, needle and thread, all that, you know how to do all that. Now I do, but when okay. I first start, when I first started, I didn't. Okay, you just pieced some stuff together. I'm saying, when I first started, I was on the E-Press. Okay, okay. I was on, I was, okay, I was on the E-Press. Okay, e okay, okay. So, so. When you went through that process and you start making your own clothes and you got off in the Nazi, what was the response from people when you start coming out with your own clothing? Uh, was it was it good? Was it bad? Yeah, was they hating? Was I mean? I was selling fifty dollar t shirts before I even had a store. Oh shit! You know what yeah. he, he was to the I bag selling, already. I, yeah, I was selling fifty dollar t shirts before I before I even had a store. But how I was able to do that was. You can with, with with any product or service, the ideal person to promote mm -hmm. would be a celebrity or athlete. Mm -hmm. I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know any athletes. You know right. what I'm saying? I don't know uh, what's the name, Calipari, the UK right. coach. Right. So right. therefore, I went to the local styles and yeah. there's a, the local hood dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. The, 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 the you name the yeah. superstars. Yeah. No so no therefore, doubt. if they rocking all the fly brands, you know what I'm saying? And then they in Nazi, and it's good enough for them. It's good enough for everybody else, and it's a trickle down effect. Right, you see what I'm right. saying? That's, that's, that's all that was, man. With this, bro, as long as you know how to hustle, you can make some money. Make some money. Bro. Make some money. You see what I'm saying? No doubt. With that hustling, man. With that hustling mentality in the streets, it's got to trickle over into you, what you're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? So with everybody perceiving, perceiving it good, you know what I'm saying? You've had some success outside of your own area. You know what I'm saying? How 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 did, how did that make you feel when you start seeing other people starting to hit you up and start doing, you know, recognizing your brand? Bro, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like outside the state, it's like when when people inbox me or they place that order, bro, it's like. Damn, this is really something. Right. I'm gonna tell you something better than that. Okay. When when That's when cats right. from the city, they go out of town and they rep the brand, mm -hmm. and then they come back from All Star Weekend or yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Cali or New York, and they were like, "Damn, they was on it, bro." Yeah. I gave them the link. They was on it. Bro, that's a hell of a feeling. That's a hell of a you know feeling. What I'm that's that's a promotion. Hell of a come on, man. Promotion, no doubt. Not just just to see other people out rocking. My joint, and I mean not not throwing it on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not no throw on. I'm talking about really throwing it on and you know what I'm saying, rocking right. and looking damn good in it. Right. You know, what I'm saying? bro, right. that's a hell of a feeling, bro. Because they can spend their money on any other brand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a hell of a feeling. Yeah, you know, I gotta ask this. As y'all see, see the logo up here, Nazi clothing. What inspired you for the logo right here? What 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 made that come about? All right, so check in, right? What is that animal? It's a donkey. All right, so what comes to mind when you think of that donkey? I don't know, ass, dummy, I don't know. <laughs> nah, listen, anybody come in, I ask right, them to tell right. them to speak freely, right? For the most part, they say the same thing you said, an ass. The, that's what it is, that donkey's stubborn. I'm very stubborn. But it's some countries where they depend on that donkey to carry that load. 
right? right? I have five kids of my own. My wife got four, right. so I got nine kids. That's a hell of a load to carry, but just like that donkey, I might kick in on my butt, but I carry that load, I get that job done. Get the job done. So with that, with with that being with that being said, you know, you got a load with your kids, your family and stuff like that. Do do they help or do they inspire you, you know what I'm saying, with with the clothing that you that you put out? When I first started, right. My baby, she, you know, she'll help, but see, this one thing about me, I like my shit a certain way. I like my shirts folded a mm. certain way. Mm. And after a while, it's like, she know, like, nigga, it ain't gonna never be good enough. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Well, however I fold it, it ain't gonna never be good enough. <laughs> so, you know, like, see, when she, when she got time or whatever, if I ask her, she'll come help me. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I got two employees. You know what I'm saying? That, that I'll pay, so it's like, baby, you get rest, that's why I pay them for right, it. Right. And, Bro, this shit right here, bro, is a blessing. I can't stress that enough. A blessing. A true blessing. I can't stress that enough. So bro. so you saying it's a blessing. If I don't mind, if you don't mind, what was you doing before the blessing came? And and, and how did how did that bless how did that turn into the blessing that you're doing now? Shit. I was wrapped up in in the shit, in the streets. In the streets. Regular. Okay. In the city life, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In the streets. But it came to a point, bro, where it, I honestly, I was getting tired, right. you know what I'm saying? Like right. when you getting tired, that's when you really gotta, yeah, you gotta find something new. Mm -hmm. So I wind up getting locked up in one of my homies' house where I had no address set. Mm -hmm. State troopers came. And, bro, I was in a situation where I never, why I didn't know if I was gonna ever come home. Right, right. So it's like, after you get locked up, and God really bless you, so now it's like, shit, what you gonna do? I'd be a, I would've been a fool to go out there and done the same shit. Right. When I just honestly came from a cell 23 hours a day, mm -hmm. praying every time that pod door opened, it ain't mm -hmm. the sheriff to come read me mm -hmm. that M1. I would have been a damn dummy, bro. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to keep it 100. When I got out, bro, I had $13,000 to my motherfucking name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's most of most cats do when they do I, come I, home. I, so I, that's a blessing I, right I, there. I had 13000 to my name, right? So, here's what it was. When, when you're not living in the same lifestyle and that income's not coming in and you steady spending like you were spending before you got locked up, you realize... Thousand, ain't nothing. shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't shit. Cause you gotta understand, I still had a gambling problem. No. You see what I'm saying? I still was getting fly, just running right. through it, but nothing was coming in cause right. I wasn't in that. Right. So it was like that shit didn't even last a motherfucking month, bro. True story. Yeah. That shit didn't even last a month. So now it's like shit. I'm, I'm forced to go back to what I know. So when when, when I do that. I'm trying to steady, remember, I just came from a crazy situation, so I'm steady trying to find a way out. No doubt. So here's what happened. I designed a logo, and a lady named, uh, is either Brandy Ashford or Brandy Martin. Damn, I hope she ain't mad at me. But, <laughs> don't be uh, mad at me. Yeah, don't, please don't be, don't be mad at me. It's the, it's the drink, right? <laughs> so what I done was, I designed a logo, she was charging me $40 to put it on sweatshirts for me. So after my first sweatshirt, bro, probably like four or five people asking me like, yo, where you get that, where you get that? So after that, I probably got like two more different designs from me. And more people kept asking me like, mm -hmm. where'd you get that? Mm -hmm. So then me being a hustler, there's no way in the world that I could tell them, yo, she made it for me, go get it. I can't let her. There's no way in the world I can let it get paid off my desire, bro. Right, right, right. For me right. being a hustler, right. I am. Shit, I started copying more from and I was selling them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shit, I was paying $40 from her, I was selling them for 60 so I was making a little $20. Right, right, right. It was just something to see what was what. Mm -hmm. But then after what, I started watching YouTube, bro. I watched YouTube for like a month and a half, maybe two months to find out what, was the, best yeah, yeah, what yeah. was the best fabric. Uh, 
what what was what was the best t-shirt? I never knew about a side seam t-shirt and a mm -hmm. tube tee until I got into clothes. Right. And you ain't gonna never catch no tube tee coming out of her. Everything gonna be side seam. So what it was was I did that and I I ain't gonna even tell them the name of the t-shirt I was first using. Because everybody <laughs> fell in love with the brand. Right. And not only that, I came in with a time with I came in with the glitter joint like mm -hmm. damn near three years ago. Okay. When it was first coming out. Now everybody doing it, which I don't knock nobody hustle, but they wasn't putting the colors, making pictures with it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. I did that. And like I said, I was, I was putting them on them gas on them cast to get fly on the regular and the feel of the t-shirt for a lot of people the design was cool but it was the feel of that t-shirt yeah you see what i'm saying because i wasn't buying no cheap t-shirt just to sell it for cheap so they go off the field because i know when i go in the store I always you know i like to touch it and feel it see man. how it do you know Come what i mean on. so when, when when you hit them with that with a dope design and it was the glitter so when the sun was hitting them up in the summertime Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you want to start, you feel like one. Well, we put that money, shit baby. on. Well, really, that's okay. If you want to start, you feel like one. Well, we put that shit on. Right. So, so again, one, one, once I got that out the way, and it was honestly like street shit. Mm -hmm. Cut the middleman out. Go straight to the plug. No doubt. No you doubt. see what I'm saying? So, damn the ass. Don't be mad at me. So I got hurt out the way and I start doing my own thing, but I told her from the gate what I was gonna do though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Start the Can't be mad at the hustle. Yeah, yeah. And 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 it's like so I I started doing it myself on the first day, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I started making T shirts February 18, I think it was like the 23rd or some shit like that. I messed up so much money because I bought a heat press from China. Mm -hmm. And I'm not knowing they joint was on uh Celsius is to the Fahrenheit, right? So I had to join up too high. So I, I messed up. Broke everything. I know I messed up like three hundred dollars <laughs> that night. And at the time, I was so game tardy. I wasn't hip to putting a little old shirt down, getting the sample together, mm -hmm. see what it's look see, like. like. I'm going straight, straight to the brand new shirts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight to the brand new shirts. Big boy holes when I was lifting them up. I'm tripping, tripping, you know what I mean? For real. Oh shit, man. See, he's, he's dropping some jewels for you up and coming, you know, clothing designers, man. You know what I mean? If you get it started, so you know y'all need to be listening to this right here. You know what I mean? Bro, anybody can do this shit. I can't stress this shit enough. Bro. Right, right. But now, everybody can do it, but everybody ain't got the hustle. Everybody ain't got the drive or the motivation. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy you say that shit, right? Because, damn, it's crazy you say that shit. Because here, here, here's the thing. I tell anybody, bro. I'm not I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm a hustler. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really be sitting down with them. I don't even want with them old Caucasians mm -hmm. and a couple black cats. Older black cats. And... You got two or three businesses. Mm -hmm. And when they ask me, bro, well, how did you do this? Or how did you go about this? Mm -hmm. Or how did you make this go off so fast? Right. Like, bro, it be driving me crazy because, bro, I'm a new from the streets. No high school diploma, no GED. No nothing. You just know how to go Hustle. Get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when I sat down with them cats, bro, it, like, it just be driving me crazy that I'm even able to be around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you're going to get it though. That's your that's your motivation. You know what you had to do. Like you said, you got a family man to provide for, man. So you know the motivation is that. And then the motivation, the other motivation is to succeed. You know what I mean? You got your vision coming to life right here. You know what I mean? Do you know why most African American men are stuck in the streets? Why is that? I right, take the young cat right coming up through the ranks or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. He start out in a little one bedroom apartment, 550, little Regal or some shit. But he's steady grinding, he's moving his way up. Mm -hmm. So now that little Regal, he got him something nice. He five, six hundred dollar month car note. Right. You know what I'm saying? That little uh, one bedroom apartment for 550, now he done upgraded, he done in a little townhouse or something, mm -hmm. paying 15, 16 hundred dollars right. a month, right? right? There is no job to where a cat with no high school diploma, no GED, no college degree, can go and make what he what 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 he's putting up. Right. Okay, now ten thousand if you could put up ten thousand dollars a month in Lexington, Kentucky, that's some money. That's not no money in Atlanta. Nah, New York. You know what I'm saying? 
But in Lexington, Kentucky, that's some money. That's some money. That's some money. There is no job that that high school dropout can go and make that type of money, right? Right. So therefore, it's that pride thing. It's gonna take a cat to swallow his pride, be like, yo, I'm done with the streets. I'm gonna go work this nine to five. Mm -hmm. I'll go start my own business. I'll go away. start his own. But here's the thing, right? That pride's a motherfucker because you gotta keep his prints up. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's used to seeing him like this, so he's gotta try to. He can't go back to the little one bedroom no more. Nah. He can't go back to the little Regal no more unless he swallow his pride. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? A lot of dudes don't want to do that. Come on, bro. Like, think, think about that, bro. Think, think about that. Bro, when I tell you this shit easy, I tell you this shit easy because it is. All it is, bro, with anything is image. Like I was saying, I tell everybody in a minute, like, I'm not an entrepreneur, I'm a hustler, bro, because there's a difference. It's been... Uh, a lot of clothing lines before me in the state of Kentucky, not just in Lexington, in right, the state of Kentucky. Right. But I'm the first one, bro, the first one to ever have his own brand and have a storefront to last a year. A year, not a few months, a year. Yeah. Because here's the thing, right? And, and December 21st will be two years that I've been in business, God willing. If you don't know how to do the math, you gonna fail before you even start. And, and, Facts. And, and gotta do the math, baby. Here, and here's here's the thing, right? People will hate because you put it out there and say, "Shit, I'm a hustler." No, that's the reality of it. I'm gonna do the math first. Of course, I gotta make a profit. Mm -hmm. Any other store you go buy close from, they gotta make, make a profit. Make a profit. But here's the thing: I got enough common sense to know if my rent right here is twelve hundred dollars a month, right? Yeah. And my profit in the t-shirt is only ten dollars. Yeah. You know how many shirts I gotta sell a month just to pay the rent? A lot. Let me do the math for you. That's one hundred and twenty. <laughs> a lot. Okay. Now here's the thing, right? This is where now this right. is the game. You pay attention. This is this, this is where the math. This, this is where it gets to, right? It's easier for me to find a, a higher product with a higher profit margin, so I, therefore I can sell fewer up to get the rent paid. Right. So here's the thing. It's either me sell 120 suits, whether it be short sets of track suits, to pay the rent, or 120 uh, t-shirts. Now, which ones are you more likely to sell? Oh, track suits. Without a doubt. Come on, man. So, <laughs> come on, man. Without That's easy. Doubt. You can't go into business and just have all low prop, uh, low uh, profit margins. Right. You you gonna have to sell. You gonna drive yourself yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. You gotta have a mix. You gotta have a mix. You 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 gotta you you got to. And here's the thing. Everything ain't for everybody. So, people, this is what you gotta understand. Stop thinking just because your friend, uh, your family have a business that you have to support. Because here's the thing, a person has to understand your family is not going to always be able to uh, buy your product Preach. every week, every month. So Preach. therefore, if you go in business and think your family and friends are supposed to support you every month, you stupid and you going to fail. Man. You got to get out there and meet new people. You got to. He's giving it to you, fam. Family ain't always gonna support all the friends, Come man. On. They're the ones that sometimes be hating, might not even buy anything Come from on, you. Man. Listen, and some of them going to only buy if it's if, if you got a sale. Right. But, you, but I understand that. Mm -hmm. I understand that all my products might be too high for the average nine to five right. working cat. I understand. Okay, let's just say a cat that gets paid every two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. He might only be able to come in once a month. Right. I understand that and I respect that. No doubt. But a cat that gets paid every two weeks, I mean every week, he might be able to come because there's a thing. He might be that cat that don't really got no bills. Right. So he could come every time I drop something mm -hmm. new. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be those ones that only able to come when you have discounted stuff. Right. So you got you got to be able to you got to be able to hit up every 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 you, person, every market, man, you know you, what I mean? I have learned I've learned that over the years because when I first started, I had track suits that was $140 and they moved with no problem. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I had to realize I can't have everything up here if I want to keep these lights on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> lights on at the crib. I, 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 I can't do that. So therefore, you have to have something for everybody. So therefore, right. I got $20 t-shirts. I got tracksuits for $125. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can't afford the $125, 
catch it when it go on sale. You see what I'm saying? Right. I can't I can't worry about who can because there's a thing. People don't go in a Bugatti dealership if they can't afford it. Well, of course not. You see what I'm saying? Of not. So now it's like in the beginning I felt like you gotta lower the price for everybody. You gotta but then if I lower the price, that means I gotta lower the quality of the exactly. clothes. Exactly. And here's what's gonna happen. For me, because they know me, I'm right here. Mm -hmm. First thing they gonna do is uh, they ain't gonna complain about the price they wanted. Mm -hmm. They they wanted a ten dollar shirt. So if I give them a ten dollar right. shirt, the quality ain't gonna be there. Right. So so then you know what's gonna happen? Some gonna have to look bullshit shirt, then they're gonna mm -hmm. talk bad about me. Yeah. All this shit ain't shit, man. It shrinks and does this and does that. That's how they do it, too. So yeah. listen, right? <laughs> if, if I spend a little extra more on giving that pre-shrunk cotton, mm -hmm. it's already pre-shrunk. You can put this in the dryer, it's going to stay the same. Right. But I tell everybody, hang it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I spend a, Bro, I spend a little bit more on the product so I can get a little bit more out of it. No doubt. I can't make everybody happy, and I'll be damned if I try. And that's, and that's life, though. You ain't going to make everybody happy, man. You know what I'm saying? You know you know what you kind of put out. You're trying to put out quality. So, you know, everybody, you know, they don't want to spend the money for the quality, but, you know, you got some that will. So, you know, like you said, you got, you got, you got, best, you got the best of both worlds, man. You got the good and the bad, the gift and the curse, man. But, you know... It is what it is, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, it's crazy that you, you, you said that because there's a thing. Like, I just had an Egyptian cotton and hemp uh, hoodie, right? I did it limited. Because it was $90. I know everybody can't afford $90. Mm -hmm. So I'd have been stupid if I were to try to press up something like 100 or 50 of them. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, because right. I'm in... Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. It'd been different if I was in Atlanta or something. No you doubt, know what I'm no saying? Doubt. I pressed up enough just for the website to get them moving and in the store. Mm -hmm. Them joints sold out and like it wasn't even a full week. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was it wasn't even a full week. That's I, don't, funny. I don't do bro with this when I tell you as long as you know how to do the math. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause the thing. Food, clothes, and real estate. And those are three things that you need in America. In life, <laughs> because here's, if you don't got that food, you go down starvation. If you don't got them clothes on, you get locked up on indecent exposure. You gotta have, you got to have property, whether it be rental or commercial, right? right? Right. So those are three things that you need in America, right? Right. Exactly. So as long as you're in one of them three lanes, bro, you gotta win. You gotta win. If you can't win again in one of them three lanes, you gotta go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing: people don't gotta buy clothes from me, and I understand that, mm -hmm. and I'm not stupid enough to think that. They go every. I'm gonna sell clothes to everybody. Right. No. Right. And another thing, bro. I don't be mad about who don't support. I'm thankful for the ones that do. do. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't worry about the ones that don't. You know what I mean? Like I said, be thankful for the ones that are. Shout out to God, man. <laughs> for real. Big up. Shout out you know to God. Man. Hey, so let me ask you something. So you've been in business, been in, got a storefront for a year now. So any plans for a fashion show? I ain't, I ain't gonna even lie, this corona slowed my bus up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was thinking about going to the mall, and I'm glad I did, because if I would have went to the mall when they closed, I would have had to close. Mm -hmm. See, here's what happened. By you being in your own building, you can adapt. Right. I went to curbside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He placed yeah. that order online, I'm gonna bring that back right, out, I'm gonna bring right, that out right, there too. Right. <laughs> he doing it like a fool, you know baby. Saying? Yeah. But, yeah, I, I definitely want to close. Um, I mean, the fashion show without a doubt, but that Corona, like, I had a game plan, and you asked me about it earlier, bro, I was really about to do a club tour for the clothes, bro. Oh, so, so you want to elaborate on that, or do you want to keep that under wraps? Nah, we gonna see, I'm going to speak on it, okay, because man. here's the thing. Check it out. You know, I'm, I'm spill it for I'm, I'm going to give you game, I'm going to give you everything, but the people who make my clothes, because you can't slow my bus up. Right. So here's the thing, right? Before any pop-up shop, you know what I'm saying? Say I go to another city, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't just go out there and try to do the groundwork myself because I'd be a fool to go to any city, any city doing a pop-up shop without the proper rollout. No doubt. No you doubt. know what I'm saying? Because who gonna come just spend uh, $90 on the hoodie and they ain't heard of me? Right. Besides the ones that feel the joint and be like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Here's what it is. Before any pop-up shop in any city, I tap into the biggest club promoter and the biggest DJ in that city. Mm -hmm. They got the city at their fingertips already. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I ain't got to do no groundwork. Mm -hmm. I pay them two people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boom. That's it. So now I'm out there. But another part is the club tour joint, though. All right. 
let's just say shit, we hit the A. I got five, six niggas with me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in Nazi. Not the same outfit, but not the same itself, just the brand. You know what I'm saying? We got a section. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we got to pay the DJ to shot the brand. Now, of course, we're going to have them flyers. And you enjoying the bottles popping. They coming through that you get to write off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to write it off. Bottles, we get bottles, to write it bottles off. are expensive. We going to write, <laughs> write the whole shit off, right? So, you know, you go to another city, bro. Everybody in the same brand. And you got a section. You Cameraman, pardon me. I cannot forget him. Cause yeah. He got to come. That's what's going when he come with that. That's that content. Come, that, come That's on, content, bro. I, I can't forget him. So when you got that and you in, around that mm. in a new atmosphere, mm. another city, bro, niggas gonna wanna know what it is. Yeah. So okay, boom. Okay, we say we do this on a Friday. We got a pop up shop on a Saturday. Right. We party on a uh, yeah. Saturday night. We got a pop up shop Sunday morning at the mall. That type of shit, bro, just to get it out there. Yeah. And again, we get to write that shit off. Write this you see what I'm saying? This you off. think they. Listen. If you think you get a gang of cats all in the same brand, bottles, cameraman, DJ shouting you out, you think another city ain't tapping into you? If got everybody's to in the same. Got to tap in. That's good marketing, Come good on, promotion. Man. And you get to write it off. So basically. Might as well say it's free. <laughs> I save all my receipts. You're giving up the game. I save people, all my receipts. giving up the game. I know something we was talking about earlier about like minded people. Being around like minded people that's just that, not, not per se saying that they got to be doing what you're doing, but people that's on a yeah. positive note. You know what I'm saying? Well. And, and, and I know. I know what your past you saying, where, where you came from, and how how you transitioned to what you into. You know what I'm saying? Do you find it difficult to to leave your past because you transitioned into what you're doing now? What? I'm trying. Am I? <laughs> like far as leaving what I was doing alone? Yeah, well, not far as not doing what you. I'm not saying you what you was doing, but far as. Like the people that are so associated, you know what I'm saying, what you was doing in your past versus what you're doing now. You know not, what I'm saying? Not because they come back close from me, so I'm still around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still around them. I'm just not involved in that activity. Right. Right. And, right. and, and here's the thing, right? Like when I heard that when I was younger, being around like minded people, I never understood it because. At the time, I was around like minded people. They were doing the same shit I was no doing. Doubt. I know before yeah, yeah. I leave, though. Put you on to some of that flash oh, I slide. I got merch, you know what I'm baby. I'm put you on some of that flash I got merch. You slide. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh oh. I got the sweatsuit, yeah, baby. Yeah, I, I gave that new shit. Not nothing, no. I Ooh, gave that new that shit. That new shit, man. Listen, man. This is this new shit, man. Hey, man. Nazi clothing, man. Major brother, good brother. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. Y'all come down here and support this, man. Get on this website if, you, if, if you're not in the area. N-A-S-I-I-ClothingStore.com Man, you see it, man. You feel me? The donkey, man. He carries the load. Man, business numbers, man. By Nazi, man. man. He's giving it to you. Business numbers, shout man. Out to God, man. Man, give the people some shout-outs, man, before we get up out of here, yo. I know you got some, man. You know what I mean? We've been drinking, man. You know what I mean? So you to that woman? Man, I'll be driving crazy. <laughs> I love you, Rasha Regina Bryson. You know what I'm saying? My kids. Yeah, none of them. That's too mean to name, but too many. I love them, and I hope, you know, from the oldest to the youngest, they understand, man. I do this for y'all, and anybody can do it, bro, because, listen, I, 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 I don't believe in luck. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At all. But if you believe in a higher power and you follow it up with footsteps, you can definitely make it happen. I can't satisfy everybody, and I know that, man. But I'm thankful for the ones that support, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and believe in the brand and rock the bread just like me because they coming for that Nazi man. You feel what I'm saying? It's Nazi. It says splat. And it's that, yeah. Huh? It's that spot. And, and I rock that shit yeah, well, no man. Doubt, man. Man. Hey, yeah, man. Hey, yeah, bag, bro. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Make sure you the bag, you know man. I'm like, it's gonna be rocked man, very well. You know what I mean? 
Nazi, man. Yo, y'all come check him out, man. Yo, man. It was a pleasure. It was. Thank you, bro. I man, you. no I doubt, told man. You, no bro. doubt, man. My guy, Nazi Clothing, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow him. Check the website. I'm going to have all the stuff, man, Link. You know what I mean? I'm going to get yeah. it to y'all right now. Where they go uh, have? Where is it? Tap. Seeing this an athlete. Offers right in that he got businessmen talking to him. Bro, go get to him. Go to him. Yeah. I am your boy, Vinny Bears, the host for the culture show. We out, baby. Vinny Bears. 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 V